So, I mentioned in the last video how, you know, to really, you know, make sure they stay with the Turner Networks for the foreseeable future, they have to, that being Tony Khan and AEW, mostly Tony Khan, have to, you know, patch up and fix a lot of these cracks that are being shown and really have to, you know, fix and deal with, you know, all these frustrations that are being reported behind the scenes so that, you know, there is not a consideration by David Zaslav and Kathleen Finch, who he's putting in charge of these networks, you know, to potentially say, yeah, after your initial contract is done, you got to go and find another home. Because as I said in the last video, I don't think Tony Khan would want that to happen. He won't. He doesn't want to go through that uh, whatsoever, or even make even look at that as a consideration. However, though, this topic though may cause that to be a you know a reality more so than trying to patch up cracks and you know personally deal with the frustrations behind the scenes to try to save the position with the Turner Networks. You see, as we all know, this whole situation with New Japan and Kota Ibushi has been a very personal one. Very personal um, throughout. And recently, it seems like Kota got his release from New Japan, but it's really, it's really hit a very almost near tragic personal level that didn't need to, you know, need to happen. Because apparently his mother, after I guess getting word that he would been been released, I guess he had told her or something or she got word of it, nearly tried to take her own life. Because I guess maybe she blamed herself for what happened or something. And it's really personally, mentally, not just, you know, messed with her to the point that, that she nearly attempted to do that. On the two-year anniversary of another uh, female wrestler um, taking her own life a couple of years ago because she was cyberbullied by fans and stuff because of her participation in a Netflix show or something. But it's also mentally messed with Kota Ibushi. And this all ties in to the people that have the power behind the scenes at New Japan, including the New Japan president. And these are guys that, you know, as Kota put it in his last statement, are known as cheaters gun. Guys that would, you know, have been cheating on their wives, which in Japan is a major no-no. Like, you do not do that without consequence. And the reason I bring this all up is because, as we know, New Japan has this collab show coming up with the AEW. And if this recent news of what happened and almost tragically happened as a result. You know, as Alex Hicks put it, just Alex that is here on YouTube put it, if this gets out there, goes national, international, you know, it's not going to look good, not just for New Japan, but by association for AEW. Mostly, it's not going to look good for them in the eyes of David Zaslav and Kathleen Finch if news gets out to them about what's you know, almost almost what happened um, with uh, Kota and his mom, or mostly with Kota's mom. You know, it you know it's not going to make AEW look good in their eyes, but so by their association with New Japan when it comes to this show. So, what do I think could potentially come out of this because of their association with New Japan when it comes to this show, if? this gets out there and becomes even more blown up than it is now. Well, one, what could happen is David Zaslav and Kathleen Finch, potentially, if word gets out to them about this, if this, if this reaches their ears, which I have no doubt it potentially could, you know, because they're going to want to make sure everything that they've invested in, mostly David Zaslav has invested in, isn't going to cause controversy for him or, you know, his newly merged company in the future. He's going to want to start off off fresh with a clean slate. No controversy. So if, these hit, so, so if this hits his ears, there is no doubt he's going to probably take Tony Khan aside, meet with him, tell him that, yeah, you can go through with this pay-per-view, you know, that you got going with New Japan. I can't stop that. 
But I can tell you, Tony, that as the new boss of Warner Brothers Discovery, you know, and the person that basically is in charge of, you know, the networks, which your show is on two of them, your promotion is on two of them, I can tell you right now that I can't stop you doing this pay-per-view, but I can say that this pay-per-view will be the last one you do with this company for a long, long time, because if you don't cut ties with them, and have no association with them until this is clear, we'll cut ties with you. And don't think David Zaslav wouldn't to say that or do it, because he would. He does seem like the kind of guy that does not, as I say, does not want to have any controversy, you know, you know, uh, basically part of this new clean slate, this new beginning. So if that means cutting ties with the AEW because of their association with a company like New Japan, and them wanting to continue that, he will do it. And that's not good for AEW. And that's one last thing Tony Khan needs on his plate. So what I see happening, obviously, and unfortunately, is AEW is probably going to have less and less international partners to work with because of this situation. And they're going to have to start relying on themselves even more so than ever before. Which means they're going to have to rely on the roster they have and do something with that roster. Because they're not going to be able to go to New Japan and say, Hey, can we borrow members of the Bullet Club? Or, hey, AAA, can we borrow people from your place? Because there's a good chance, you know, that those international partnerships are not going to be, you know, um, usable for the time being, especially New Japan. So what I see happening is AEW you know, having to basically grow up, finally just grow up and be like, okay, we're our own company now. We can't, you know, we can't, um, you know, uh, poach, you know, international talent to help us out. We got to stand on our own two feet. And that potentially is what could happen if this reaches the ears of David Zaslav, because again, he could be the guy, kind of guy that tells Tony Khan, Cut ties with this company after Forbidden Door, or we'll cut ties with you. And I think Tony Khan knows that. I think Tony Khan realizes that. But again, following up on the last video, that's the last thing he needs, along with all the other stuff coming around. Because you know what it's going to do, ultimately? In the eyes of a lot of people that have been critical about him? You know, you know it's going to, in their eyes, it's going to expose Tony for what he really is. And that's just a wrestling fan that's trying to prove to an established, you know, entity of a promote, promoter in Vince McMahon that, hey, we wrestling fans could do a better job of running the company than you can. And that's the last thing he needs. That's the last thing he needs to be put on his plate. So I think what's going to happen as a result of this dark shadow, the dark cloud being over the event is it will be the last one that AEW does with New Japan for quite some time. Because David Zaslav, like I said, is going to probably say, if it reaches his ears about what's going on, cut ties with them, or we'll cut ties with you. And I think Tony Khan will choose option A over option B. But what are your thoughts? What do you think will happen? Comment below, live chat during the premiere, and I am out.